Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys the very first experience I had when I rode on a plane for the first time. Because it's funny, because back then I'd never rode a plane before until back in 2018 when I was almost 16. I was at fifth, I was about 15 at the time, and it was like a month close to my birthday with like an August or something. So for like an early celebration for my um, birthday, for like my sweet, sweet 16 at the time, um, me, my mom, my grandma, and my little brother took a plane ride to Denver, Colorado, and it was a huge blast. It was really fun. So I'm gonna be telling you guys my experience I had on riding a plane for the first time. First, we had to go to an airport, which was new for me because I never been on been in an airport before. Very new experiences for me. So uh, so much to see, and of course, there's a lot of people there. So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too crowded, but then again, I still hate crowds no matter what because you know, you know me, socially awkward young adult here. But anyway. After we went to the airport, we had to wait until our uh, plane was ready to take off. Went to the plane, and I, I wanted to, uh, to pick a seat by the window because who doesn't want to see the nice, pretty view of the sky while we're taking off and stuff? And while we were taking off, it was, it was bumpy, and the, the in, the sound of the engine made my ears pop, and of course, some, a lot of people have experiences like this when they when they've been on the plane before, but it was, everything was brand new and fresh for me. Like my ears couldn't take the loud noise of the engine. Like everything was so loud. It made my ears like, it, it made my ears feel weird. I wanted to listen to music on my phone to drown out the, you know, loud popping noise that was going on with the, you know, since it's high, um, high altitude and everything, but. I didn't know the Wi-Fi password, so I was just stuck sitting there for like an hour and a half because it takes us from Texas to Colorado like like an hour and a half flight. It would take longer on a on a car ride, so I just wanted to experience a plane ride for the first time. So since I'd never been on a plane before. My grandma thought it would be a good a good idea for her to like, you know, plan the vacation and, you know, pay everything. But she was really generous about it. She enjoyed the trip. She enjoyed spending time with her family. And my dad couldn't come because he had work. My older brother didn't go because he was in college at the time and I was still in school. You know, this was like summer vacation. Part of summer vacation, it was a it was fun. I'll say it as many times as I want. I don't give a crap. And while we were in Denver, Colorado, the air was much cooler because, you know, in Texas, it's hot most of the time. In Denver, it's cooler and more, a little colder most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. Sometimes it can get, it can get warm um, during the evenings. So while we're in Colorado, we had to take a, a rental car because because my mom's car was was still in Texas, you know, parked in the airport and stuff. So we had to take a rental car and, um, you know, drive around the place, take a little tour, walked around uh, downtown, and we went to an aquarium. Well, a aquarium slash zoo because they had fish and they had animals there too. They had tigers. It was a really cool experience. I even filmed. I used to film my um, my Colorado experience on my dead YouTube channel, but I don't have it anymore. My channel is dead, so um, so is that so is that video. We went to gift shops. We went to um, like we went on a train. I went on a train for the first time, and we took a little train tour to like a hill, we climbed up a hill and went inside like a little mine, mine shaft, like like underground basically. So we had to wear hard hats, which was really fun. 
but my little brother couldn't go inside the mine because we were on top of a hill and he he didn't feel so good because of the altitude so um one of the tourists um like the tour guide gave him like a little oxygen tank for him to breathe so he can you know adjust to the high altitude because it was so high and everything just makes you feel dizzy and sick kind of I felt dizzy at first when I was riding when I got off the plane when we were landing on the plane but as soon as we got back home I adjusted to the altitude and everything around me so everything worked out in the end it, I, we had a fun time a fun trip fun experience new places to see and new experiences to try out because once you never um if you never tried something before and you really want to try it go ahead and do it my advice is just if you want to do something that you've never done before try it you might like it anyway that's all i have to say for this week's video i hope you guys liked it anyway like comment share subscribe all that jazz and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.